Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, Director of the Floral Design Institute, here to share with you our latest issue. Again, I've chosen one of my favorite flowers, the dahlia. I use the dahlia so often. It's such a fabulous flower with so many dynamic design properties. It can be casual, it can be sophisticated, it can be country, city, it can be anything. And there's so many different colors. There's always a color that's perfect and so many different sizes and shapes. Sure to find one that you truly love. Today, this fabulous purple, almost pink, almost variegated. Oh, this is gonna be a great one to work with. With proper care, the dahlia can be incredibly long lasting, easily four to six days. It all comes down to hydration. Dahlias like to be treated with very, very hot water, even boiling water. So I heat it up and then just pour one inch, two inches at the absolute most, into a sturdy vase. And you can see the steam rising. It's very, very hot. Then taking your knife, remove any extra foliage, and then just give it a cut and set it into the vessel. It doesn't take a lot of effort. Just make sure you remove that foliage Give it a cut, set it in the vessel, and then leave it be until it cools to room temperature. Once it cools, the stem's going to look cooked, but the flower will last so much longer. Arranged in a Fiesta Ware pitcher, dahlias will take on a decidedly country look. So I want to use a variety of things that make me think of a home garden. Viburnum berries, sedum, sea holly, the Oryngium, and even a little bit of Dusty Miller, Scabiosa, lots of different things. And the dahlias, they're perfect with that. To begin, just start filling the vase with a variety of materials, creating a base layer that will later support the dahlias. So tucking in the Oryngium, letting it radiate outward, adding the Viburnum berries, letting them be a little taller and over the top. Maybe a second one coming off to the opposite side. A little bit of Dusty Miller. Letting it drape over the front and filling in the back as well so that it's fully symmetrical, radiating around the vessel. And you can see everything just drops into place. Very casual. Looks unplanned, but we all know takes a lot of planning to get that casual look. The casual nest is now ready to support the dahlias. You can just cut them down, set them right into place. Some can go a little tall. Others could be a little shorter, tucked in low. And then out to the opposite side, filling in. All of them feeding into that central binding point in the center of the pitcher so that they radiate evenly and fully all the way around. To finish, one more dahlia to fill in the side, completing the rounded look finding a hole to slide it down into, and then softening it with the scabiosa. They're so delicate, and they just fill in, add a little bit more character to the design, enhancing that country look. Popping it in, making sure it gets nicely down into the water so it will live. And then once again, turning it checking to see where you might need another bloom, tucking them around, shortening that one just a bit so it fills this void, and then turning all the way around, filling it in. Maybe one more right over here. Finish adding that little bit of fluff. The finished design makes me think of Grandma's garden with all those country flowers. For more creative inspiration, both country and city, formal and casual, 
check out our website at flowerschool.com. If you've got questions, don't hesitate to contact us. You can reach us through the website and by telephone at 1-800-819-8089. Also, with all the new ways of communication, you can reach us through email at leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. We really do love to hear from you and love to see your pictures. Send them off. Share with us so that we can have the joy of your flowers as well. Have fun and do something you love.